Right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Right, right, right. Everyone, everyone is in the Nissan GTR today. I didn't do the best job in uh, my quality session to be honest. There's quite a lot on the table. Optimal was a point six. Um, but I hope in this race we'll um, pick up that pace racing with people. Now, strategy wise, two times fuel, three times tires. I'm guessing this is just a sprint. I'm guessing it's, it's just a sprint, but I, I might be wrong, so don't know. Welcome, Grain Games. Welcome, Rampage Racing. Jonathan, Marcio, Dean. Welcome, Troy, Gavin as well. KCR Kip, RBS Performance in the house. Chunky Ribini was in there as well. Welcome along. Welcome, Bill Jones as well. It is a sprint. Okay, good. Burn that fuel as well. Let's see how we do. Amazing livery. I think this is a Tiago special. Welcome, JJ, as well. Archer's in here. Very nice. Welcome, Chris. Good to see everyone. For a night of Gran Turismo. Well, a night if you're in Europe, I guess. Different time slots may apply. That's making sense, does it? <laughs> right. Plane's taken off. Here we go. This is quite a tricky combo actually in this car because a four drive Nissan GTR, you want to get on the power so early. Let's see. And uh, it makes turn one a little bit of a challenge because it doesn't really like to trail brick that much, this car. Welcome, David, as well. Welcome, Kate. Welcome along, everyone. So, race number one of the day. Oh, I kind of had needed to <laughs> make, make sure I got enough space there. Well, I, that was ambitious, wasn't it? Going for an overtake with the first corner of the day. But you know what? I'm just I'm just in one of those moods today. I'm just in one of those moods. If you've been around these streams for a while, you'll know when I'm in one of those moods, I'm just I'm absolutely fired up. Fireworks. Oh. Surely my corner now. Still there, fair play. Obviously you can hang it round the outside there, then you get to the inside for the next one, but we finally get that done. Very, very, very nice. Oh, someone's making a pizza, I can smell it, I can smell... You know when someone's cooking a pizza? You can just... You know, someone is cooking a pizza right now. Or something's on fire. But I, I'm pretty sure... I'm 95% certain it's pizza, not fire. How is everyone? Good Christmas. Yeah, everyone having a good Christmas break. Is everyone like on holiday? Or is, that, is anyone actually working this period? I want to hear tales of people working this period. Is it just empty? Now this is where the race is won or lost by the world. Is the chicane. Not just track limits, but keeping the momentum in this car is really, really difficult. It doesn't have the grunt of a Group 3 where you can just pick up the speed in the middle of the chicane. It's sort of what you carry in, you kind of carry out, so... Welcome, Vlatka. Yeah. Bill Joe's saying it's dead at work. Chunky's working. JJ, my first day back at work, was in Cape Verde. Very nice. Oh, I am jealous. I need to go on there. I need to see the sun. Oh, whoa! Tokyo drifting! Love it. Love it. Chat, that is a save, surely. We need like a... I need to get an emoji of like a goalkeeper and we can get the save emojis out. One-handed. 
save. Let's cover this one off. Covering it. There we go. That dive bomb, though, yeah. It caught me out of nowhere. It's the arc here out of absolutely nowhere. Whoa, JJ, thank you so much for your continued support, man. Really, really, really appreciate it. It's very good to be back streaming. And the idea is... Whisper it, but the idea is that I'm going to have a uh, streaming schedule for 2023. Nothing, like, mad, but basically at least one day a week where you will know that is my streaming day. So, and that's something that I've never, ever done before. I've always been very, very, uh, I think chaotic is probably the right word for streaming. Whoa, KCR Kip with the uh, 79p. Thank you so much, KCR Kip. Hopefully you get a nice little alert. Thank you so much, man. I'm not only creating deliveries also a member also a founder in the discord absolute legend goes very deep. is KCR Kip there and by very deep I mean extremely deep so oh gosh go. definitely go search out his liveries by the way if you want to raise some of the best liveries in Gran Turismo you, you're genuinely missing them out missing out if you're not searching and racing them now look at this guy here slippery race what's he doing racing the stock livery my guy you could be racing in one of these look at this look at the fade it's like you go to the Turkish barbers and you ask for a nice fade. That's what this Nissan GTR's done. Right, this guy dived on me last time, didn't he? Should be more alert, I think. Should be more alert. Okay, I'm being alert. So here, you want to... Because it's four-wheel drive car, you want to get on the power as early as possible. You can really just lean on those outside tyres. Or two of them. Bomb I'm same here. You want to get on the power a little bit earlier than you expect. That's how to drive these Group 4 um, all-wheel drive cars in Gran Turismo 7. It's why they can be a little bit OP. Because if you can drive them well, you can get phenomenal amounts of time by getting on the power earlier. Gran Turismo is, a, and I'm making a video on this, I'm basically redoing, not redoing, like refreshing all of my beginner tips videos that I did at Star G7 because all the physics changed and whatnot. The Gran Turismo 7 is basically a game that is won and lost in this phase, right there. In the slow speed cornering phase. That is where you get all of the rotation. That is where the time is won and lost. And that I get a lot of people in the comments saying, I, I don't know what to do, I don't know how to get faster, I'm following all your tips, but I just don't know what to do. I think that is the bit, is that patience, that counterintuitive sort of like pause in the cornering phase. Let me know if you agree in the chat, by the way. But for those people that have kind of you know, got to AA+, plus. I'm pretty sure that will be where you're getting a lot of the time. Oh, not exactly sure where the, um, where the track limits boundary is there, but we'll probably find out. Welcome, Harry, good to see you. Rampage, I don't often use the curb on that turn, I spin a lot, okay. Best livery with Martini, I saw up there. We've got a few Martini liveries. Welcome to Mosan as well, good to see you all. Right, we need to get a move on here because the guys ahead are slowly getting away. So if we can just get, what's our pace like, 50, 70 to up that pace? These are rookie numbers, right, let me concentrate this lap. So if you get the braking done early there, you can get on the power earlier. Much earlier than I did. I didn't get the benefit there because I went so wide I couldn't get on the power. If I just managed to point at the apex a little bit earlier I could just get on the power. That was way too wide unfortunately. Still a better lap than last lap. Same there, not getting the benefits. I kind of shot past the apex. Let's just see if we can catch up with that pat. That's going to be absolutely critical. Oh, they're much earlier than I'd be in a Group 3 car. Go, 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 yes. Welcome fast, Ginger. Patience, yeah. The brake and, acceler brake and accelerator not on-off switches. That's a great way of putting it. I think it's a bit like when I used to play rugby back in the day, they introduced this law like the international rugby people. Um, let me just try to get through the chicane. Made a mess of that. 
they introduced this law where in the scrum before you would just crouch and then you would just smash into each other so like engage you just smash into each other and they introduced this law where you had to you had to crouch pause and then engage and it's a little bit like that in the cooling phase you want to break and then you just pause you let the car rotate and then you get on the power and that really is a trick to Gran Turismo 7 I think more than any other sim because in iRacing you can you can sort of manipulate the car in the braking phase definitely in turn one here in iRacing I'm going stay narrow hey what that is a fair fair play squire that is a good move that is a very good move but someone's got reset there I think oh that is a move that, oh, dearie me, we're going to benefit from that, I think. <laughs> we're going to benefit from that chaos. We're still just about hanging in touch here. Are people talking about best pizzas? For me, just straight up pepperoni, that is the one for me. Uh, you know what I see a lot these days? I see you get pepperoni, but then they do like a pepperoni with honey. I'm not convinced about it. Honey can sort of... I'm not sure about that, personally. T by T through here. He is on our inside, I can assure you. Where is he? There he is. Any need for speed unbound? Not massively my sort of game, to be honest, but I do have Dakar Rally that I want to play. And I do have Car X drifting one that I want to play. And I want to do lots of aesthetic course and mods. There's a lot of stuff that I want to do. And what's going to happen here? Don't know whether the third gear or fourth gear is the one through there. Right, let's work with the crazy Spaniards. We just catch up with that pack. They're all really going around this corner. We do need to get a little bit more pace, to be honest. We'll start a pizza stream. Yeah, what about like live streaming, making a pizza? Tell you what. That's the Spaniard. Want a piece of this around the outside? Oh no, it hasn't worked. Oh, what's he have? Oh, his baby has worked. I put him off. I put him off. He was so shocked by the move. He just spun off. <laughs> what's he done there? What's he done there? What's what's gone on there? Right, finally, big drift. Can we catch these people, please? What's 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 he done there? He just crashed for no apparent reason. God, that is so bad into that braking zone. <laughs> yeah, I was like out of nowhere. God, right, five seconds. Oh, five seconds to this pack. Come on, if we... Lap times are not good. I mean, 54-7 from the leader. I think we should be in the fifth. We need to get in the 55s, really. To sit in the 55s, that'd be great. I think he overcorrected. Uh, okay. Did I race a Manufacturer's Cup? I did. I streamed it. Too wide there. How's the exit? It always compared to the Delta. Oh, not great. 1.3. Okay, but we had that issue at turn one. Okay, this has to be the lap. Well, I say that, but we're going to have the Greek driver for company, so I'm not sure. <sighs> Exclamation mark lurk. What's that meant to do? He's coming. Yellow flag there. There's shenanigans at turn one. Going to try and make him go around the outside. Lift a little bit. I was going to run out of roads. Should have kept the faith. It's gone exceedingly deep. It's given us space. Fair play. WB.
hope he's out of shape. Good battling, though. Good battling. Crazy start video. I've, I'm losing track. Oh, which video is that? Have I made a crazy start video? Right, Farsh has just gone back. He went back and looked. He started to slide. Oh, correct went off. Okay, easy to do. Honestly, turn one in this car is actually very difficult. It's, it's harder in this car than it is in Group 3 cars, which I don't fully understand. But anyway. Oh, no. That's where... That, I mean, there's a whole second there, for sure. For sure there's a whole second there. Oh, the start of Jimmy Ray, yeah. That was a good video, that one. I enjoyed that. Looks like I'm destined to just fight with this Greek driver forever. We've got the livery, though. Come on, livery. Oh, hang in there. Just keep a nose in. Oh, no, he's got a cross. No, we're still here. No, he's lag jumped us. He's boosted. Got it extremely deep. Exceedingly deep. Now, I don't want to hit the pit wall here. If I go for the overtake, I don't want to hit the pit wall. There we go. Thought he was going to shoot up the inside there. Wanted to undercut him. Ah, oh, top placement by him there. Very good. The Mustang is easy to do in turn one, but everyone in this race is Nissan, though. But how is Nissan so OP? I'm not complaining because I, I do drive for Nissan, but. Need to be a lot better at this corner. I'm all over the shop there, to be honest. All over the shop. Oh, Rampage got a P1 in the Mustang. Okay, maybe we give it a shot. Oh, God. I've gone very, very wide. Is that going to be a track limits? That probably should be a track limits. Possibly exploitable. But we got away with it. Look at the glitching of that guy, the Spaniard. Perfect. You think the Mustang's a perfect car? If the GTR's good, maybe the WRX is good. I don't know. We just need a little bit more pace, I think. Just a little bit more. Oh, limiter. See, I feel so low in fourth gear there. I'm so low in fourth, but I'm so high in third. I mean, the lap times aren't great. We have, been, we have done a lot of battling, to be fair. Even the Spaniard's coming back. He's going to be very angry. I think. Two laps to go. This race is flame by to Lamborghinis one two. Yeah, the Lambo might be a good shout actually. But I think we can um, we can get some speed up with the Nissan. Oh, I love that move. That is my favourite move in all of motorsport. I think round the outside, turn one Daytona. That is one hundred percent. Let me know if you've got any better moves than that. But I just I love that move. Because it's such a long build-up to it. I mean, the build-up to that move is all the way from the exit of the chicane. And often they defend to the line. And it's, it's like, yeah, it's such a satisfying move to pull off. I like it. One of my faves. Yeah, I don't know if we have many iRacing deliveries. We've got low, we've got so many great, and they just keep coming, it's actually insane. There's more liveries coming than I can make content with, it's crazy. I need to make more livery videos. Have I raced in Daytona Everyone Live? I've, I haven't raced in Daytona USA, I've raced a lot in Daytona Karts in the UK, it's not quite the same thing. I need to sort this out, I'm breaking like this middle marker. Ninety-two through that. I need to. I need to see a minimum speed. Like surely getting up to ninety-seven and stuff must be possible. We need to be doing. A, we need to be doing better than P11, I think, this session. So that's definitely gonna start with the quali. 
So one more lap to go. Uh, Come on, someone's had an issue up ahead. The Frenchman. Oh, he's gone for it. That is a big move. It's a takeout. It's a total wipeout, that one. Two for one deal. Oh, and there's almost a cross back there. Up to P9. Mad scenes. Yeah, a lot of time a lot of time on the table here 24 seconds off the lead and i don't know how far back you start we started from lead and if anyone knows was it like six seconds seven seconds eight seconds it's something like eight seconds that's 15 seconds lost to the lead throughout the race in a 10 lap race is that 1.5 seconds a lap so if we can get we can um get a half a we can get a half second lap easily but i think we should be getting a second a lap to be honest, that should be doable for us. I mean, even this one looks like it's going to be a bit more of a representative that for us. So that was minimum speed. Well, we're 98 on the way out. I don't think it's going to be a penalty. So that was much better through the chicane. Much better. Chris says, Spanish for whatever pink car murder. Where have I seen that before? I couldn't possibly say. I don't know who it is, actually. Don't know who it is. Some of the comments in the Kimmy video are just so... Like, so illuminating. Right, that is a P9 for us. P9, which I will take in first race, and... If we can get... Yeah, if we can get another second a lap, then we'll be around P5. Around line bus, I think would be good to see. Friend of the channel. And all that good stuff. Right. So I'm going to have a little bit of time for qualities. It's a long lap here, though. It's almost a two-minute lap, so you don't get that many opportunities. Welcome, Brendan's. Marcia says, is Kirith Kimmy? Have you ever seen me and Kimmy in the same room? Just saying. Just saying. We know Kimmy's on an alt account. Maybe it's a master ploy. James says stick with Moyes or try a change of manager. I think I think stick with Moyes because otherwise there's gonna be way too much change. Like Rice is probably gonna go so many there's so many new players at the club, like they need a bit of consistency. Am I using a three doff or a four doff setup? I don't know what three doff or four doff means. Rampage next one okay, right? I need to get in practice. Oh, not enough console storage. Uh, right. I need to make console storage because otherwise I won't be able to do a ghost. Right, hang on. Let me just uh, eat some stuff. Why do I never have storage? Hang on. No. Where's some big ones? There we go. There should be a way to just mark them all. Are there some massive ones somewhere? Oh, these last ones. Okay, right. Great. Right, let's jump back in. Welcome, Ivan. Good to see you again. Hey, Paul, as well. How is the ice cream business going? Is it... Is this the off-season for ice cream, or is it still... Is it... Is it cyclical? I quite like ice cream when it's cold, to be honest. Right, how many laps are we going to get in? Degree of freedom. I still don't know, Quantum. Simulation cockpit. I'm... I have a GT Omega Prime cockpit. 
that I think I haven't set up ergonomically very well at all and I've stuck with it for the last year. So I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to do a review video as well, I think. Right. Okay, so can we get in the 54s here? That's what we want to do. Slightly down the last year, but doing well with cocktails. Is that related or is that completely different? Because I understand that's in all good businesses, you like, you have different product lines or services that, you know, compensate for each other. Does it have motion? It doesn't have motion, no. Right. A bit of task ball there. See how early you can get on the car. It's very different in time trial conditions, this. Very different. I use a saw base of cocktail ingredients. Very nice. This is one of my weakest corners at the moment. You know what I used to get, but I think they stopped doing them. I used to get cocktails that you could put them in the freezer and then you would like... They were like, um, what are they called? Dakiris. Is it daiquiri or dakiris? They stopped doing them. I, get, I think it was a bit dodgy. I think there might have been too many chemicals in them. Ah, oh, I'm so wide, damn it. Oh. There's no point doing a decent rest of the lap if you're going to mess up the chicane. Pressure's on now because we've only got one lap. We have one lap. This is the lap. Whew. This is going to dictate whether we're going to be in the chaos section of the next race or we're going to be in the chaos section because whatever happens, we're going to be in the chaos section, I think. Oh, very nice. What about the Basil one? Does the Basil one go in any cocktails? there. Two tents don't really have. Again wide. Squirrely. What about Daily Beast? So th the thing is, I don't, I don't play, even though I'm a Gran Turismo 7 streamer, I don't play Gran Turismo full time. So if I start chopping and changing around Daily B, AC, I just won't do as good a job on the, any of them. And this is what I tell people when they tell me, how, how can I go up the ranks in GTA? I said, just concentrate on one race and do that one race. That's, I also sort of practice what I preach a little bit. It's going to be chaos. We'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. Have I been neglecting live streams? Only 65, 65 people is a lot of people watching. <laughs> I, don't know how many, I don't know how many people are watching your streams. But I'm very lucky to have 65 people watching us for Daily Race C. On this Thursday evening. I think. Because yesterday was Wednesday. 
Right. Oh, man. So we did not improve that time at all. We definitely need to be in the 54s. Got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do in this one. Am I using engine braking with that Nissan? Um, no, actually, maybe I should. I'm not going down to first gear at all. Fortune likes the base, very nice. Troy says Daily B is crazy, but it does sound tempting. Crazy but short, you spend more time waiting than racing K. I don't think there's going to be much waiting today because I need to improve this quality. Welcome, Space Face. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Clean racing is what we're about. Clean but hard racing. There's no point just being clean and not racing. That's not. What's the point in that? Clean but hard but fair racing. So I think we need to aim to get a 54 5. Ah, Jonathan's in here. In the KCR livery. Superb. Can't, hopefully we can catch him and get a good look at it. Look at Jonathan, 54.2. I didn't even get one quality lap in there. Oh, man. It's going to be tough. We've got our uh, Spaniard friend here. Bruna, Daily B is good for you down on the ranking. What does that mean? What does that even mean? Yeah, maybe I should use more engine braking, actually. Don't know. Good answer first. Might have a look at it, go see what they're doing. Right. Hopefully we can follow some people really closely into the chicane as well. DR ranking too much carnage. Oh, it's not good for the DR. Okay. Nissan spec race. Here we come. You know what would make this race better? If it was a day-night transition. Like, why is it not a day-night transition? Might just imagine it. See you, Rampage. See you on track, hopefully. Welcome, Luigi Fan 03. Right, let's go. Oh, there is, there's a Viper there. There's, oh, look at our livery. You can see our livery. That little blue one. Quality one. Right. Let's see if we can just sort of carve our way through this race. That would be ideal. Cheers, brah. You're excused. Right, we race on. We race on. Should all uh, condense a little bit through the next two corners. That Viper surely can't be the car for this combination. Oh, he's gone for it. Oh, he's really gone for that one. <laughs> he's, he's unhinged, this man. He's not Kimmy, but he is Kimmy's South African cousin. I'm afraid. I'm afraid being this close. Oh, there's millimeters in it. Oh, there we go. Get him. When I go to public lobby, there's an announcement of who has joined. That sounds like you've got audio description on. I don't know where the track limits are there, but we still need to work out. A decent exit there from us, I think. I think we're catching Big Steph. I don't know if Big Steph had a bad exit. So I can see KCR Jonathan there. That is our aim. That's where we want to get on. How do I turn audio description off? I suspect that's in your Sony settings. Oh, so is that a thing? Sony settings? Okay, we're coming for the Hungarian now. So that's a good laps here. A little bit of drama there. There's all the pack again. 
I'll break early there. The car's a bit heavier. This guy ahead, he was in P3. Oh my words. Yeah, might just mess around in the settings, that's the advice. Just have a good old good old mess around there. Okay, that was actually better through there. We kind of came in with purpose. So we, got, we know the Frenchman's quick because they had a very quick holly time. So if we can hang with him, that'll be absolutely fantastic. In fact, if we have a, if we have a really good chicane here, we'll get a slip. So that's what we need to do. I'm going to go in in fourth. I've got to six now. I'm going to go down two gears. Try and hit the curb on the inside. Missed it. He's had a terrible exit there, the Frenchman. But so, I mean, well, it's difficult to tell because he cut it, but we lost a lot of time to him. Surely he's going to get a second penalty for that, you would think. That's annoying because I think we might have got his slip, which we're not going to get now. I don't think he's going to take the penalty now as well. It might make it to the next lap, you see. I know he's taking it now. Okay, so we are, so we're catching now. Oh, two abreast going into turn one. Hasn't worked out. Hasn't worked out for the red car. And, whoa, he's got a lot of smoke, that guy. Has he got a puncture or something? Tell you what, people are absolutely sending it today. Ah. Up our insides, bit of a risky position. This love it. This is Gran Turismo right now. Whoa, it's all kicked off. Okay, P8, we're hunting down P8. It's not. Looking too bad for us right now. So hopefully this time we get the really nice exit. I think it'll be in accessibility settings, I suspect. Yeah, look how much curb there everyone took on the way in. Oh, people are going to get penalties on the way out, surely. Just muggins over here got a penalty. Oh, that's a bit dodgy, these boys. Be careful. Right, how bad is this going to be for us? Get down to fourth gear. Should have kept it in fifth. Right, here comes the fin. One of the best corners, I think, in motorsport, turn one. Ah, oh, nice, you fixed it. Let us know how you got there so we can we can all know for future reference. I'll tell you what, this battle for PA, I think, is going to get pretty tasty. The whole field is very bunched up, to be honest. If you have a look. We're only one corner ahead of us. Hopefully we're going to be in a big old slip train here. I don't think you want to run too wide there, because I think you just... You lose time taking the long way around. But we are in a slip train. We can get through the chicane without um, cutting it, getting a track limit, then we can be in the mix in Turn 1. I know we can do special things at Turn 1. I know we've got that in our locker, I really do. Wide there. 
and wide there. Just, just generally wide everywhere. Fair play to the fin. I think I'm just maybe braking too late and I'm missing the way in. I use fan. Yes, I'm using the Fanatec McLaren GT3 V2. That is what I use. Right, position their back. Two by two into turn one. We've got a lot of momentum here. I tell you what, we can think about a little move here. Okay. Still in the hunt, though. Four way battle for PA. Oh, ref. Where's that come from? Chat, where did I get that penalty from? Is that from going too wide? Right, I've got to really keep up with them now, so... And we're not going to go down again when we take the half second. I think we're sort of keeping pace with the leaders here, roughly. Yeah, 55s now. Spanner goes wide. Went too wide. Ah, oh, damn. Good to know. Oh, I quite like that line actually. Keep it nice and tight. Nice line to know because no one can really overtake you on the inside if you do that line. Right, fine. Okay, I'm going to break a little bit before my normal marker. I'm going to concentrate on just getting close to that curb on the inside because then hopefully I can just visualise the way through on the right hand side. Okay, let's take it easy. such a penalty. That is such a penalty for me. <laughs> How bad is it going to be? Okay, ugh. I felt pretty good on the way in. I don't know what I did wrong then in the middle. It's almost like I didn't didn't um, get it right. How do you focus and talk while racing? Honestly, I think some people can just do it and some people can't. It's like... It's just different parts of the brain, I guess. Um... I don't know what a good way of explaining it is. Don't want to run too wide there. Really don't want to let that pack get away, so I might try and push this guy, work with him. We had three penalties in this race so far? I think so. Let's make it a five way fight. P8, come on. We're becoming slightly better at this corner, which is nice. Someone's gone off. Oh, he's going to go for it. I like it. I like it. We're definitely catching up. I mean, unfortunately, P8 is getting away. So hopefully, they'll all condense up. Right. Just take it easy. Cane. I'm just, I'm obviously overworking it. We're going to have a bit of a run here, actually. Oh, no, I put him off. I put him off. <laughs> right. I thought that was the best thing to do. It wasn't worth doing something silly there because now we just reset and hopefully catch up. I don't know if P9 is going to be in a slip of P8. I hope so. And then that's P765. That's P5 up there then. I think P6 had a penalty as well. Starting to bunch a little bit. Starting to bunch a little bit. Come on, there's Jonathan just around the corner. It's break early there, I think, in the race and the time trial. With the fuel and with the tyres. Yeah, right. They've caught up with P8, which is good. Now I need my boy here to nail the chicane. And myself, obviously. I'm 
if we do get a P8 out of this, that'll be very, very, very special. Very special for this position. Right, it's gone wide. We've gone purple there. So we're picking up the pace. I wonder if we can have a better run this time. Ah, I hit the limiter, damn it. Still going though? Yeah, we've got a much better run this time. Much better run. My guy! Wonder if I'll have a penalty. I don't, I don't know if you, if you dip a wheel, then you get a penalty or not. Right, we both live to fight another day. <laughs> I think he was entitled to go defensive there, I think. Welcome, Marco. I mean, the pace is there. Shame about that chicane. We can't really show what pace we would have had. But it's going to be if, if I'm dead. Too bad. Oh, no. Oh, and there's carnage ahead. Someone else joined the party. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's catch up. Over driving a little bit, but there's spoils here. There's definitely spoils. Two by two by two, I think. One. Oh, round the outside of him. That's Schumacher and hacking him. Love that. I sense positions. I sense positions here. Oh, what's going to happen at the chicane? Is there going to be fireworks? Hmm, not sure I like this. Ah, dragged the brake a little bit. That worked wonders. Just dragged the brake a little bit. Gonna go high side. Come on. Slot back in now, get some slip. Find Doom at turn one. Someone took a penalty there, I think. Oh dear. Nice. We're in the hunt. We're in the hunt. That's a great race this. Great combination. Oh my word! What on earth is that? Lock the arrest that man immediately. <laughs> arrest that man, officers. <laughs> what on earth was that? Why did he go? For, why did he do that for? We're in P8. <laughs> what was he doing? What, what possessed him? <laughs> he was sitting really nicely, had a great position, and then just went full on insane. <laughs> it was so out of control. Oh, dearie me. Deary me, three spots, yeah. Free, love, whoa, P7. Is P7 on? This guy was behind me. Must be an interesting being able to talk. Kirith, Rory, Tizzy, CPG, Jimmy, and James. Maybe, I mean, there, there's a lot of people, lot, you know, the, um, I know a guy who's Belgian, he's, he streams in French. People like Josetti, Coco Lopez, streams Spanish. Oh, damn it. That's not the one. We're going to be under pressure now. We're going to be under severe pressure. He didn't get a great exit either. In fact, none of us did. Right. That's the second race in a row that KRT Sport has done something random. Ivan is keeping very close tabs on him. He's got the notebook out. I'm going to force him around the outside here. 
see if he's got something special in his locker. Oh, I went across the grass a little bit. Compromise my braking. Feel on defensive mode now. He's got half seconds. I did say if we got a P8 in this race, it'd be something very special. I didn't quite anticipate it going down like wrong gear. Wrong gear that could cost us. This is going to be, ah, oh, this is going to be, what well, Andy, Andy remembers. Day 10, 24, uh, 24 hours coming up, so, right. Okay. He's dropping back, the Frenchman, weirdly. But if he missed a gear, mate, in our favour. He's got boost. Can we hold it to the line? Can we hold it? Come on. Come on. Ugh. I think he might have us here. I think he might have us. Oh, he's going to pip us on the line. He's going to pip us on the line. Fair play. Fair play. He bided his time. Now that was a crazy race. Now we definitely, definitely, definitely have six seconds in the bag there to get onto Jonathan. So let's try and improve the quali and get there. That's where we know we can be. That was a crazy race. Very good combination, this. How are we doing on the old like front? 88 people watching, 44 likes. That's 0 0.5 likes a person. I know we can do better, chat. I know we can do better. If you, if we can drop those likes and get us past 50, that'll be absolutely massive. Welcome, Funky Monkey. The funkiest of monkeys in the house. Now, I've got a good feeling about tonight. We can improve this quality time, start a little bit higher up. Um, I feel like in the, I feel confident with the car making moves. It's just a, I'm just a little bit on the edge. So if I can get comfortable with being on the edge, then it'll pay dividends for sure. 100%. They've got to sort out this long wait. You wait. But you got to wait for the DNFs. Well, they're not going to finish, are they? Right, let's go straight back in and set some times. Good result for Jonathan there. 30. Look at that. P5. That was a good race, Jonathan. Well done. Okay, let's roll. Welcome, Jason. Any other car recommendations other than the GTR? Um, people have been saying that the Mustang might be good. Let me take a look at the leaderboards here and just see, but time really is of the essence for me right now. Uh, let's go global. Wow, it looks pretty much like a GTR party, mate. I've got to be honest with you. I've got to be honest with you. <laughs> Fento, Fento was top 10 in the world last week, I think, and now he's 300 in the Mustang, so. I don't think the NSX will do it. I think you want something with, I think you want a four-wheel drive car for the infield, but then you also don't want to be down on the straights. Right, let's improve this time. Objective is to get a 54, ideally mid. And I, th I'm, I know we have it in us, so... We're, we're only going to get... Are we going to get three laps? We're going to get three laps. No, we're not. Oh, damn it, we're not going to get three laps. We're going to get two laps. We're only going to get two laps, I think. That was in the key 25 of you there. Right, here we go.
a little bit wide, touch wide. Yeah, it is a long. Why, why did it run up out of there? <laughs> Let's do it on the main straight. It's a very good point. Very good point, actually. Not my best so far, but we can still go better if we saw that chicane. Oh, look how wide he goes. So he does go really wide. Right, chicane, chicane, chicane. Come on. This is where it's all about. This is it. feel like I shot out of it, but no penalty at least. Well, this could be this could be a 54, but still a long way to go. One more lap we're going to get. Oh my word, it's not even faster. It's a bit late on the throttle there, but obviously it's better than people's lap. No worries, Ryan. I really like that livery. It's getting a lot of love on stream yesterday. Awesome livery. Again, a little bit late on the power there. Part of me wonders if that's the third gear exit. But again, we're better. Nice and Jonathan, good racing, man. Awesome livery as well. Okay, chicane. Chicane, chicane, chicane. I mean, there's half a second in this easy. There's probably a second in it. Oh yes, that's not a pen please don't be a penalty, please, 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 yes, 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 Ooh, look at that delta go, I like it, get the upshift right, oh yes, don't need a third lap, this will do very nicely indeed. Very nicely indeed. See, it's all in the chicane, isn't it? All in the chicane. Look at that. Oh, it only wasn't that much quicker than last lap. It's a bit awkward. So I don't know where that's going to put us, to be honest. The first part of that lap was absolutely banging, by the way. Like, turn one. Turn one was like... Maybe quicker than the ghost, because the ghost is two turns offset and we were right up with it. I feel like that must be a good sector one time. I don't know where sector one ends, but I feel like it's a decent sector one time. Luigi fan, please try another car. Uh, we, we haven't exactly mastered it in this one yet, mate, have we? So we want to do better than 54.5, which we've done. There's more time in it, obviously, but I think we're going to be in the mid pat now. Adil Tarat. Who else is up here? F1 Slayers. We were racing F1 Slayers yesterday, weren't we? Here are Cram's back on. Used to race him a lot. In leagues. A lot of Spaniards. 
Van TGT's on. Eaton's on. The Key 25. Welcome, Jonathan. Huh? We're only in P10. <laughs> we only gained two positions. What's this about? What's this about? I just nailed my quality time and I gained two positions. Right, we've got more work to do on the quality, clearly. We we got to get a 54 dead, I think. Ugh. I was so happy about that. I was so happy I've been crushed. I've been crushed. Oh well. Good bit of pro. I mean, that we improved our quality time by seven, seven tenths, was it? Will I be live tomorrow? The plan is going to be live for the next four or five days every day. So keep an eye out if you like the live streams. By the way, if you're new here, it's meant to be smooth like that. Welcome. Okay. Okay, we're P10 out of 60, not too bad. Not too bad. Get a few more petitions in the quality. That wasn't even the best chicane anyway, it was just passable. Welcome Triple D. Right, we've got to get past the NASCAR GTR. GTR GP, here we go, yes indeed. Car number 35 for us. Right, predictions in the chat, people. Where are we going to finish? That's a bit awkward for people, I think. Almost breaked us. So we are going to start very close to the leader. Time-wise, yeah, five seconds. Not a lot. My word, that was pixels from hitting that. Thanks, Riser. Ugh. We got a bit of a wheel spin there, otherwise he would have made that very awkward for us. It's not a one a strictly a one make, but it's effectively a one make. Oh someone's gone wide. It's gonna come back on. Good rejoin to be fair. Get a position here. Nice. To P9. Lots of Germans coming up. They're going side by side. P4. P4 has been predicted in the chat. Right, we're bringing the Brits behind us. Are they going to work together, the Germans? Looks like the leaders might be going too, too wide. Tell you what, I think I'm getting the hang of that chicane. If that's not a penalty, please don't be a penalty. Please, please, please. Nice. I think I'm getting the hang of it. That bodes very well for us. It means we can be on the front foot. Then turn one, which I absolutely love. My favourite overtaking opportunity in all of motorsport. And that is not an exaggeration. So we'll go past that guy. Shall we make this a three wide situation? Why the hell not? Okay, there's no space, that's why not. Madness. Absolute madness, and I love it. Lost contact behind us. Thanks, Blacker. This is close quarters racing, this, isn't it? Sorry, bro. Ah, oh, we had a bit of contact, so I had to counter steer. Chat, what do we think about that? What do we think about that, chat? I, f I feel bad, but 
It's because we had the bit of contact, the back end stepped out. That's a tough one, man. That is a tough one. Is that a manslaughter? Let me know what you think and chat about that, because... Oh, might want to have a look back and see. Not quite as fast breaking up. I'm I, uh, it's, I feel really bad for him because we were going side by side. He did really well to hang in there. We were going to get to the next corner and he was going to get the inside for the next corner. But then we just had that sort of bouncy contact. So, Loop is saying man sort of though. So it's in it maybe in between racing instant and then straight up manslaughter. But not murder. Okay, that's good. Murder, obviously, you need, need the intent to kill. Right, let's let's race on. Let's do him justice by winning this race. <laughs> Unnecessarily tight line. Tell you what, we started four seconds behind. We're now only six seconds. So the pace is 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 good. Pace is on point. we know Bob we know is a very good driver so I wouldn't be surprised to see Bob making his way through getting into uh, P4 there that is and I wonder if P3 is dropping off that old Bill On the pace now through we're not like losing chasms of time which is great looks like might potentially be a three-way situation to turn one there potentially from what i'm seeing as if uh, that guy's gonna pull out of the slip might open up to the guy behind have a join the party let's see bobby's absolutely on it yeah it looks like it's developing into a three-way keep her eyes peeled he is gonna go for it Someone has gone very deep. Didn't see where that guy came from, but... That might have been between the leaders, you know. Right, we're here now. We're here now. Dropping the people behind, which I like as well. So we can look forwards. There's going to be carnage here for sure. Oh, wow. Could get tasty into the chicane. Such a good track, this, isn't it? Daytona is just such a good track. So much better than Indy as well. There, any Americans watching? Does the original TGT work with G7? Yes, I believe so. Welcome, Lounsty. The Australians are up. The Australians are about. Watch out. I think just keeping the thrust in it just keeps the turbo up. Right, this is going to get insane into turn one i'm predicting it officially predicting it sorry zero for assaulting indy but it's just true day 10 is just miles better it's not even close come on someone send it someone do an irresponsible send you know those ones like right from the back like you don't expect it but the guy right from the back just like tries to overtake everyone in one corner 
so well behaved. Such a shame. Americans are reporting in. We just need a little bit more pace. Louise, who can remember the GT games on PS2 and PS3? I think, Louise, there's plenty can remember the GT games on PS1. The OGs, as we like to call them. Any OGs in the chat? Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo 2 was very good. Gran Turismo 2 was almost too good. It's like aliens made it. Bob's gone. See you, Bob. See you next race, man. G7 needs some city circuits like Long Beach. Oh, I don't know about Long Beach, though. I, I don't know. Deep Forest yesterday was kind of like a city circuit, and I'm not sure it works that well with with the um, like physics. Just to get a little bit more pace. Troy had the original GT Zeros and OG. Bob's on the radio. Bob's going to be standing around uh, turn one, the horseshoe, throwing his helmet. Andy only bought a PS for the first GT. Very nice. And Chris says Long Beach is lit. Long Beach, Detroit, those ones. Couch racer OG for life. Yeah, once you're an OG, you're an always an OG. I don't want to alarm anyone. If I can get my stuff together here, we could be on for a podium. Don't want to, don't want to cause any, you know, concern. Do I watch F1? Yes. Yes, I do. Zero has all of the GTs except six. Surely you must want to just complete that just for, like, completeness sake? Not complete it as in complete the game, but just like have it. That would drive me a little bit mad. And do you have Gran Turismo Portable? That is the real question. See, Luigi's got them, including the PSP one. Nice. Who's my favourite driver? I don't really have a favourite driver, to be honest don't really have a favourite driver. I've never been that sort of person that's had a favourite driver. I'm not, I'm not tribal like that in a fun. Me, I am too bad I never made Seattle, yeah. Pele has passed away. The news coming in, Pele has passed away. Think about Pele, right? I know it's easy to not Pele because... Think about Pele. Yes. Pele played for Santos for his, pretty much his whole career. And he went to New York for two years. Like, he never went to Europe and... But he won three World Cups. So... No one else has really got close, have they? I think... Rena OG Ronaldo. Fat Ronaldo has two, but he didn't really play in 94. Uh, Mbappe has one. But he, he could get him. He could have had two. So Pele is pretty untouchable there, isn't he? We're just loitering, chat. We're just loitering. Just res just kind of... <laughs> just loitering here. It's not like I'm driving as fast as I possibly can. Oh. <sighs> if it all kicks off, we are just perfectly poised. That's, that's where we want to be. I bet none of these drivers are chatting about Pele, are they? That's the, that's the added difficulty we have. But then to be fair, I don't need to chat about Pele, that's like... I decided to. Okay, maybe we should get involved. Not just let them do all the work. Let's see. It looks like the Hungarian is thinking about it. He's definitely considering it. 
at the very least, I might pop out. Maybe looking out in the rearview mirror, I think, oh, maybe he's going for a big one. Um, uneasy. Everyone's playing very sensible there with the track limits. Like, I think there's quite a bit more we could all use, but no one wants to get close. What's the reason you created an esports racing community? Honestly, everything with this channel and the community has just happened completely organically. Like, nothing has ever been planned. It's not like I sat down one day and I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to try and get really good at Gran Turismo and create a YouTube channel. It's just, it's all been just random, just organic. Whatever happens, happens. And it will always be like that, I think. Ugh. Oh my god, what was I doing there? Daydreaming. He's, de he's definitely- t Ref, he's definitely turned in on us there. Guys, he- He's definitely- oh, oh. Let- chat, let me know. Let me know, chat. Let me know. I honestly, honestly, I think he turned in on us. There was a lot of tire squealing. I don't, I don't think that was a manslaughter or a murder or anything. But let, I want to know your honest opinions. What advice you give me is A plus and fourteen years old. Just keep, just have fun, just have fun. Now, just Gran Turismo isn't everything in the life. Welcome, JC nine point five three. Good to see you, man. Long time. It was a it was a scent, but honestly, I feel like something weird was going on. It wasn't me. But we are in the hunt now for the podium. We race on. We race on. Don't think P3 had the best line there. I think P4 had the best line. That's me to re uh, replay review has been called. Thing is, I want to improve my quality time. But I think we need someone to definitively go back and just give us the actual like judge dread. Yeah, this is this is what's happened. Miam says you've got to leave the space. That is true at all times. That kind of looked like a dive bomb, but he didn't. But he didn't leave the space. So maybe racing instant. Welcome, helpful toes. He just went for the same move. Ah, uh, okay, but I was already there. Maybe that's it, and maybe that's why there was all the tyres. Well, I'll tell you what, if we loiter ourselves to a P3, that would be a oh, nice drift. That'd be something, wouldn't it? Side by side. Loitering mode engaged. He did not leave the space and change lines mid corner. That is true. He did change lines mid corner. Tell you what, this Dupont guy, we started together down back in like P10, didn't we? Started at the bottom, now we're here. Or. Oh, oh. Ref. Referee, what? Why, why have I got a penalty for that? Why have we got penalties? Don't like being this close. Don't like it. Don't like it. We can roadblock him. <laughs> and then we're all slowing down. Right, don't shift gears. Don't shift gears. Stay in the slip is the best place to be. Go, 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 line boss. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's have him, let's have him. Can we catch him? He's gone wide. He's gone wide. Go on, go on, go on. If we can sneak our way to a podium here, that would be absolutely insane. Oh, 
What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Why are we all the way out there? No! What was it? Why was I such a drifty boy? Why was I such a drifty boy? Dirty tires. Was it there we got penalty? Oh. I swear, if we end up getting a P7 here from being in the hunt, I would have found in that position I would have fancied us to do something special, but oh. Go on, send it, send it, send it, my guy. Might be a half a second. It isn't. It isn't, but oh man. Alright, we'll take the P6. We start at P10. We'll take the P6. 54.7 is a good lap from us actually. Mr. Duck the Duck loves G7. I mean this is this combination really is a good showcase G7, I think. Oh man, chat, I think I bottled that a little bit, didn't we? We I bottled it. Definitely my bottling. Good race though, let's try and improve that quality a little bit more. That's what we should do. We'll go again. A hundred people watching, welcome everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Kirit Car Channel. I, w I want to replay, but I also want to get possibly three laps in. Because that could make all the difference. So I'm going to just sprint to the practice session. Because I feel like we, we can try and start a little bit higher. Oh, we could have... Maverick, though. Great race for Maverick. To be fair. We can try and pick up some uh, DR as well. Keep off the grass. Yeah, I know, I know. Deary me. How's the sound, by the way? Is the car, is car okay? Is it too loud? Too quiet? It's loud for me, which I like, because I can hear it, but I don't want it to be too loud for watching. John says Maverick punted you last race. Wow. Well, that, that is drama. Surely we're going to get three laps. Go, 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 go. Three laps. Straight back in. Straight back in. Yeah, we get a six minute. We're going to get three laps this time. I don't know why we were short last time. I must have faffed around. Thanks, Louise. Right. Let's see if we can improve this quality. So. I think the chicane really just we can set ourselves up nicely and get a chicane and then just barrel it through. That's where the time is gonna be for sure. Change your car to the GR Super Concept? No. How about no? Okay, here we go. Two laps. Fantastic. My time at the moment is a 54.483. Sorry, you can't see it. There's a 54.4. Black, you've also said that Richie's are ours. I think it's okay to say the hiccups are ours also, and it was not that bad. I appreciate it, Blacker. Win and lose the team. But honestly, I feel like, I feel like we've got quite a lot left in us today. We do a lot better here. Never going to be that sector one, I think, from previous good lap. Decent.
a bit slight. All about the chicane, isn't it? I hate how I can't compare this against my car records, but just GT things, right? Come on, keep it in fifth, I think. isn't. What do we think, chat? Diff I honestly, I can't tell, but... I can't tell. Fifty... Two... Three... Four... No, not faster. lose all that time on the exit. That was a good drive. time there. Slightly wider line, so we're going to lose time, right. So right now we're about a tenth behind where our previous time. So much pressure on this, isn't it? Cut it, and I don't think we're going to get another lap because the way it restarts so quickly these days, we'll go anyway because we'll get another shot with a chicane. But oh man, what car do I drive driving a Nissan GTR Route 4 today? It's a shame that. A bit slower by there. Exit. Oh dear. Just want to hit the chicane with the Delta on. Kind of try something a bit different. See what Delta says. Is that the penalty there? Left, left all over that line. But I'm sure I saw one guy go all the way around it. Maybe, it's, I don't know, maybe okay, it works. I think that would be better, wouldn't it? No, oh, actually not. Oh, that is a bit of a shame, isn't it? Couldn't improve it. Thanks, Josh. John, how did you get to be friends with Dead Eye Delboy? Well, our mums were friends. So, Dead Eye Delboy's mum used to pick me up after school. 
and we used to play Gran Turismo after school. That's how we became friends. P5 now. P5. Nice. Daily Bob's here. M Silver we were racing yesterday, weren't we? JK Rowling's in here. She likes a bit of racing. Okay, I think I think ooh, I tell you what. This this lobby could be a lot better for us. This could be a lot better for us. Welcome, Mr. Needham. This could be a lot better for us. Race number four, I think. If we drive well here, good things can happen. So we've got to really concentrate. RBS is P5. Are you in this race, RBS? Very nice. Oh, you, you must have a different split. Okay. I'm going to focus a little bit for this, this one. Brandstown's a full. It's very unrealistic that plane because the landing gear would have been retracted at that point, I think. Right, here we go. The wind could be on if we drive to our potential here. And if the cards fall in our favour. Leader's gone deep a few times. I wonder if he's come straight in from time trial. And it's not used to the heavier car. For years and there'll be this this is a corner that really catches you out. And they're going very deep into it. Feeling pretty good right now. But anything can happen. Bob's quite wide there. Already a healthy gap to the cars behind. I like this. I like how it's uh, developing. Any of any shenanigans at the chicane? If we all get through here, going to be fireworks at turn one, that is for sure. I think everyone's going to be patient here. Not the best exit from us, but we'll get the benefit of slip. Only five tenths behind. Go on, go three wide. Go three wide. Here yeah, you guys want to? That would be fun, wouldn't it? That would be really fun. Oh my word. It's worked out quite nicely for us. Oh, it's worked out very nicely for us. So great. We are right now, I would say, in provisional, provisional P1. Although half second penalty isn't a lot, so we need to really, are oh, we're going to come under pressure. What's Bob going to do? If you're Bob here, do you think, I'm going to go through into the chicane and then, then try and move up to the Hungarian, or do you try and push us? 
I'm going to put the ball in Bob's court, and Bob's going to push us. Sensible man is Bob. Tell you what, when he takes us half a second, this might not be as clear cut as I would have hoped for. Bob's going to push us again, top man. Half second penalty. Have to clear him. Bob's following us. Bob's pushing us. Oh, way too much swaz there. I did not bargain for the amount of swaz I was going to get on the way in. We survived. Right. Bob, Jankomi, Needham, O'Hare's in the mix as well. They're all coming after us. Somehow with that entry we've gone purple. Explain that. Don't want to dip it on the grass there. What point is Bob gonna just lose patience with my lack of pace? I think I'll have a bit of that P1 action. Bob. 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 Ah, oh, Bob's still a legend. Still a legend as Bob. Decent drive out for us. We're all queuing up. It's like planes at Heathrow. There's even a Viper in there, mysteriously. Bob's going to be coming at us. What's Bob going to do? What's Bob up to? He's going to sit here as Bob. Someone's come steaming in. We can't escape. We don't have the pace to escape. When's Bob going to send it? Bob would cut sort of like a half fast move up the inside. Bit of banter behind. Side by side now with Bob. You can race with Bob. Bob's like the anti Kimmy. Oh, Needham's off. Oh, he's back on again. Chat, is anyone feeling the pressure here? Like, we are under severe pressure. Like, insane amounts of pressure right now. Bob's got half second penalty. I feel bad because Bob was my guy. Oh! Limiter. What's Bob going to do now? Ah, oh, Bob's a legend. Bob might have another half a second there. This is looking pretty tasty for the victory, I have to say. I, I would say right now we're odds on, odds on to win this. Are there any betting, I'm well, not really a betting person, are there any betting people, what would the odds be right now? We'd be like, one, we'd be like two over three or something. I don't know how bet odds work. O'Hare's coming in though. O'Hare fancies a bit of this. See why under the slightest bit of pressure where I turn into like one very thrifty boy, I just absolutely crumble. There's a top split win on the line here. 
Can you believe it, chat? Like, I've barely played this game for last month. And we're now leading a race in top split. And I'm going to blow it. You know, you just know I'm going to blow this. The only thing we don't know is which corner am I going to throw this away. That's the mystery. But we, we do know I am going to throw it away. I don't know. I might, I'm actually, I might hold on to this. Might hold on to it, but it's going to be very defensive driving. So we don't know a lot about O'Hare. What's O'Hare up to? Legend. Knew it. As soon as I took a look at O'Hare, I was like, that is one absolutely solid bloke. Another lap survived. There's a hot potato being in P1. Everyone wants your position. Look at all these lads. They all want it. Bob's had enough. Bob's like, screw this. Bob was like a pacemaker. Hmm. Don't like the look of that. I don't like the look of that. Ooh, I really don't like the look of this. <laughs> hey! Top one things I don't like the look of was that. Going into turn one. It's just a matter of, it's just a race of survival, isn't it? They all want our lunch. Luckily for me, if there's one thing I can do, it's drive very, very, very defensively. If, if this was top trumps, that would be like my 90 score. Very, very, very overtly <laughs> defensive driving. Sorry, Bob, I don't think I pushed you wide at all, man. I don't think I pushed you wide at all. Have a look back at the replay on stream. Must be getting me confused with some other guy. That's horrendous. That's really bad. <gasps> no! No! Things just got really interesting. I want that P1 back. I'm coming for it. Temporarily just letting O'Hare have it. Now the hunted comes the hunter. See how O'Hare does. She said, I've seen it, Bob. It was your bad. Sorry, Bob, but we definitely didn't do anything. Um, we, we enjoy racing with you, Bob. We'll never kill you. and games by the way if you do enjoy this racing make sure you are subscribed to the Curious YouTube channel well, there's, just, there's just so much racing like this just good quality damn racing that's what we do that is our USP can't see track limits tell you what we might have a tasty exit here 
we got a pretty tasty exit. Oh, I wanted to go low sides. Jan Comey's all over the shop, to be honest. He's all over the shop. Yeah, if you like this racing, make sure to subscribe. And then you just, you basically get more on YouTube. So that's... It's a three-wide situation. Chat, what's happened there? Chat, what's happened? Chat, talk to me. Talk to me, chat. Got damage, got severe damage on both wheels. Talk to me, talk to me in the pit wall. That was a big one. That was a big one. I think we were momentarily in the lead. And uh, I think it's fair to say that the race victory might have slipped away in this one. That one, yeah, that one needs a replay, for sure. That one needs a replay. There was some sort of bang on my inside, and then contact with me. I don't know if someone hit the wall on the inside or something. But it sort of, like, opened up. It opened up for me to go up the inside of, um, O'Hare. And then all hell broke loose. There was some sort of explosion. We need to investigate this in the replay. That is very, very, very important. But in the meantime, we're still only six seconds off the lead here. Yeah, we'll get a Craig David emoji for people who want the replay. Re-rewind. Bit more carnage here. It sounded like someone hit a barrier, but it, it was way before the tyre barrier, I thought. It was way before the tyre barrier. So, mortar, mortar strike. Yeah, someone called in the kill streak. I want to see what happened. And the thing is, I was, I was going on the outside into turn one, and then the gap opened up, and I thought, okay, I'll go for that gap. So I did make a move in, in the... Um, I don't think it was yet the braking zone. It was kind of like here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So... Let me see, and we see Bob's incident as well, that is true. Right, come on, let's catch up here, so... Drifting around. I think we can get a few positions. We might need to get a few positions to save the old DR now. Oh god. Coming after us. Jankomi's here, I think we had... Jankomi was involved in that. Might not be best friends. Lap and a half to go. I think we can maybe get a position or two. Jason's saying, I think it's possible P2 was still in your left and came into your point P1. That's what I think. P2, P2 was somewhere. He had to be somewhere. But I felt like he made contact with something before we made contact, which was unusual. But again, that, that, um, it was such a split second. Right, there's a four-way fight going on there. Someone's been pushed into the apron. Oh, someone's on two on the ground. Oh, total wipeout there. Someone's had the big one. It's JK Rowling. Potentially a penalty for someone in that as well. Right. Just why Rowling says not happy. See, that is where the invisible barrier, well, not this invisible, that's where the tyre barriers, a lot of people hit, but it all kicked off, I think, before that. <laughs> I 
I know, we were battling for the lead. We were battling for the lead. Still purple, though. Hashtag just purple things. Oh. Could be five us up there. Miss Modell, she needs to stick to books. I think she was taken out there, to be fair. Robert, that was looking so good on PS, I had to come on computer. Are you watching this on your PlayStation? Are you watching YouTube on your PlayStation? That's very cool. Ah, oh, shame. That seven, six, five, four, three. That battles for the podium. Oh man, we are going to be having a look at this replay. Are oh, you watching on the PS4? Very cool. Can you? It'd be great if you could spectate in the lobbies, like in Gran Turismo. Uh, someone's got a penalty, but it'd have to be like a monster. Oh, he's got to right. It's going to be a P9. It's going to be a P9. Yeah, Mark, if you imp I mean, these... I'm not, like, crazy VR. I'm, I'm one of the only... I, I must be the only streamer that doesn't have an alt account. Like, this is just... I just race on one account. That's it. Look how close that was. Top 11 within 10 seconds. Oh, we don't want to wait. Get us through. Get us through to the replay. Yeah, spectator mode would be absolutely insane. I think they should do that. Come on, we want to see this replay. People want to see what happens. Get my controller ready. Apparently, apparently the PS5 is a wireless controller. So it's on TikTok. Is it charging? I just get memed. Apparently, if you put your PS, if you put your DualSense on top of your PS5, it wirelessly. I don't believe this. I don't believe it. I saw it on TikTok. I'm moving it around. Nah, I don't think I've been had here. I think I've been royally had. I moved it all up and down. I think it's charging. Is it? Is it? Nah. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the old Uncle Bob situation first. That was a good race. That was a race. What was that? Welcome Mario Sonic, you need popcorn for the replay, let's have a look. I honestly can't wait to see this, because I was so excited about the move that was taking place. Let's have a look, what do we think people- get your popcorn emojis out. We'll have a look at Bob's instant first. Firstly, let me know in the chat. Who do you think was at fault? Do you think it was me or someone else? Or Racing Instant? Me, someone else, Racing Instant. Right, first we've got to debunk this myth about Uncle Bob. Right, something's happened here to, to old Bob. What about the old flashing? Pretty good racing so far, I would I would say, with old Bob. Very nice side side ooh, side by side racing, side by side. Oh, oh is that it? <sighs> let's, let's have a look. I'd, I'm not sure. I mean, we just gone side by side for three corners. sure Bob but anyway what what happens to Bob oh this happens to Bob Ooh. 
How does Needham survive that, by the way? Sorry, Bob. I Maybe I could have left a bit more space, but I wasn't trying to... Uh, I was trying to have good racing with you. But then how does... That is a hell of a save. All right, this is a big one now. Right, hang on. We need to... We need to just... This is a situation. It's a six car... Six car thing into turn one. And I decide, I'm like, yeah, hell, hell yeah, let's go three wide. And then... The door opens up here in the middle, so I'm, I'm gonna go in there. <gasps> he hits the invisible barrier! Look at this! Chat. I knew this wasn't my fault. I knew it. Look, there's, there's loads of space for me. Look, there's absolutely acres for me. He's hit an invisible barrier here. Someone says in chat earlier, and he's gonna bounce back into us. See? Let's have a look at this from my perspective. I knew this wasn't my fault, and I just knew it. I just knew this. And then I heard, and I heard, I heard the explosion before we hit us, and I was like, what? Because I was expecting, oh, then we might have content on the inside, and then it happened. Right, we need to get this in third person. I think Bob just misjudged us, right? I didn't think that was intentional. This would have been the greatest move by me if I pulled it off. Ah, oh. Man, so how does he hit that? I don't want to miss this race. Oh, we've got two minutes. How does he hit this thing? I don't know why he leaves so much space as well. I would just sit there. But anyway, the space opened up. Oh. 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 What a mess. Is that me cracking on? Who's that? That's O'Hare. So all of the leaders... All of the leaders got taken out there. I knew it wasn't my fault. I knew it. As a racing driver, you kind of... You know when something's your fault or not your fault. And that one, I was like, what? Something has happened inside there that's nothing to do with me. That'll make a short clip. I'm not sure. It's a bit complicated for a short clip, isn't it? Hopefully my car's not too damaged. Oh, man. That was insane. Invisible pit boy, yeah. Hype go crazy. I'm glad you showed the invisible barrier. I hit it in the race and it will happen. Yeah. They should just put a barrier there. But Daytona's weird, like... I did an iRacing race at Daytona with like 50 cars. We were going like five wide down the straight here. I got fishtailed. I went all the way into the pits. Like, it seems so crazy there's no barrier on the outside there. Like, what if there's a NASCAR race and someone's having a pit stop and then there's a big one and someone goes across the grass and like smashes into the people working on the car? Like, I find it mad there's no pit wall there. That was my best chance, yeah, I know. We could have won that race, but we can always win the next one. We can always win the next one. How are we doing on the old light, light target 200? 94 likes, everyone. 94 likes, six nights away from the big 100. That's always a big milestone for us on this channel. Look at this little, little track there. If you have six likes amongst you, please feel free to uh, deploy those likes and we're going to go again. Oh, man. Tell you what, that would have been... Has anyone seen the video I've done where I made... I've gained like five positions into turn one. Like that... I told you, that is my favourite place to overtake. I just get... I get a special... When I go into that, I get a special feeling. I feel like really alive. Because you can go inside, you can go outside, you get really close to the tyres. You can drift it around the outside. RBS calling it podium. Welcome, Ali. Good to see you. Right, here we go. Bob's back in, in here as well. Fergs. 
pretty close qualities at the top. We're going to be down in P8, but this guy here, by the way, in P12, I'm pretty sure he won or came second in the last race. Like, it was a crazy race. And this guy, Time Killer, he won our FIA championship race yesterday, and he won it by a long way. So watch out for Time Killer. Ranking not quite high enough for lobby. Maybe in the next one, Ali. Maybe next one. Maybe next one. Owner of the Jack. Yeah, J Jack Dex in here as well. Old JD Sports. We're going to go again. 25 degrees. Oh, what a time it would be to be at Daytona, wouldn't it? That is on my bucket list. If I do that, that's going to be a hell of a vlog. Do you think I should go? Do you think I should go for the real thing? Like, isn't it next month? But like, how much would it... Does anyone know how much it would cost me to go? From London. Time killer is a mate of war. Very nice. Oh, Ali's low way. I don't know. Maybe. as Ferrari in there. Have you done the time trial? Have you tried it? I haven't done that time trial. Is that a tuning one? Just... That'll be a stream in itself. I think it's a great time trial though. Tuning out the Nautch life. I mean, it doesn't get more like pucker than that, does it? Right, let's go. Let's try and have some good laps, fast laps, be aggressive. One ball. Absolutely mad lad has gone in the Ferrari and it is eating into me already. Ferg started on pole. He's already down to P6. That's not gone well. I think Taxi's going to try and go through. I might try and free Taxi through, actually. We were there in case anything kicked off. Right place, right time. a double overtake chat let me know what you think about that thing is I think Taxi took a really 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 wide line so somewhere inside here oh, it's going to get us oh, almost fishtailed almost fishtailed right, first got the half second so Get that back. I think the chicane is hard on the first lap because the car's heavier as well. Right, we should get past Fergus here 100%. Then make a bit of progress to the French driver. Should I tell you what? Yeah, we'll get past him. We'll get past him. I'll have to go around him, though. Why not get the benefit of the ghost? Yeah, I'll have to get around him. Bumble's still with us. Oh, my word. Big crash. Big crash for the Indian driver. Sweep up the inside. Critical corners for us here. We can nail these ones. Can um, get in their slip. Really critical this. Slightly narrow line, but we did gain some time. Another unusual line. Don't think we're going to get a slip benefit here. Those were critical corners. We needed to really pull something out of the bag, and I think we're going to bring Womble just about with us. I think so. I think he's just in that slip, although in the Ferrari, it might not have the pull through here. One down that Ferrari switch came. Might be quite nice, actually. 
Yeah, this is EMEA race, as, though, as you can see, India's in here. One point four on the way in, but it's going to come a bit down on the way out. One point three, still not going to get a slip benefit. Chris likes a Daytona bike race. What's the, what class is that? Is it super? Oh, they do super, what class did they do then? We need to get that slipstream benefit. That is a leader up there as well. So come on. bit too drifty there. Possibility all these guys might catch up with the leader. Bob's involved. Just need to pick up the pace a little bit. Looks like they are very close to the leader now, yeah. Stay in touch. Still a little bit off at the moment. I say I'm driving about 70%, need to get up to about 90. Felt better. Really critical because if we lose three tenths here, we'll bring Fergs and Bumble back into it. And we need to just get about half a second the other way to get into the slip. So this is so, so critical right now. So critical. Hopefully that's not a penalty. So you see, we're, we're maintaining the gap to the cars behind. But because these guys are headed in the slip train, it's very difficult to keep up. So we need them really to hit the leader and then scrapple for it. So we actually want them in an ideal world for them to work together and for them to get away with us, get away from us. That's what I really want right now. I want them to catch the leader. on the edge there too many times I think they're very close now to the leader one point five to Ferg's behind Womble's very sensible Womble might be working with him at the moment Really, I want to be touching that inside curb. Still 1.5 behind. So I think our pace in isolation is pretty good. Bob now definitely is within slipstream of the leader. Welcome, well, James. Good to see you, man. Hope you, well. I hope you enjoyed your recent trip to England. Drop the MPH a bit too low there. Down to, I think, 92, 93. Lost two tenths cars behind. Ah, oh, this is all... This is so finely balanced, this race. We need heat and then that French guy to work together here. Catch up with Bob and then there'll just be too much at stake for them not to go for the lead. I mean, look how close they all are. A bit too wide there. Wide as well to short shift. 
Lost a couple of tents. Ferg's going to be... Have his morale up. Let's try and hit this curb on the inside. There we go. Had to have a couple of early lifts there as well. Still just about maintaining that gap. To Ferg's. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it's a full... It's a 10-lap sprint. It's a 10-lap sprint, and... That gap between first and second and third and fourth is too too high for me. It's too high for me. At least I want to have a bad chicane. The right person to have a bad chicane. Not a great game for me, to be honest. I think, yeah, oh no. Right. So I'm sort of the first person to crack because Ferg is going to be in his slip, in my slip. Good to have you, Ben. Sorry to hear that your TV is getting fixed. And that's the difference, like, the slipstream is absolutely huge here. Looks like third and fourth are going for it, but I really, I want that to be a four-way five first. It can still happen. We just need, we need first to make a little bit of a mistake. Gained a lot of time on the way in, but lost all on the way out. Ferg's is really here now. Very wide. Okay, ball sort of in Ferg's court here. What do you want to do? I mean, this man did start on pole. Decides to just sort of punt us. Oh, sorry, bro. Re reverse pun. Neo QLED. Is QLED actually a thing? Or is it just like marked? Oh, man. This is... <laughs> right, I've... Bumble's here, still here as well. I can't shake him. I think I've got to try and catch up with Ferguson and push him. Because they will... If they all fight, they'll lose seconds, but... Where is that? Uh, still the same, isn't it? Just washed out wide in the middle there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and push Fergs. I'm gonna try and push him. Too far away. Samsung, yeah, but the thing is about QLED, it stands for like quantum LED. Like, that sounds made up. Like, what's quantum about it? Quantum is. What's quantum got to do with LEDs? I don't know, I'm not an expert in these things. Nice corner. Oh, they've caught up now. They've caught up now. Right. Just need to join the party with Fergs. Come on, Fergs, let's roll. We got this. Fergs is my new best friend because they're all really caught up. There they are. Fergs, what are you doing, bro? That Wombles here as well. It's Fergie time, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Fergs. Where are they? I'm looking around the banking. I'm looking around the banking. Where are they? Oh, the leader's getting away. The Portuguese driver's just too good. Just too good. Might have to betray Fergs. Might get a tastier exit than him there. I think he was a bit wider than me, yeah, he's got his own penalty. 
It's all over for Fergs. It's time to say goodbye to old Ferginio here. Sorry, bro. Nice dance. It's been nice, but we've got to crack on. We've got business to do. It's just me and Womble now. Right. We need them to fight. Bumble's new Fergus. Fergus is still there. That's awkward. Just slightly, yes. Too wide into the hairpin, I thought. I feel like Heaton might be. Oh, Heaton's got past Bob. Okay. Change of position for P2. Come on, lads. You've got, got to have a good crack at it. We're catching the leaders now. Catching him at quite a pace. It's going to be two laps to go. Let's see what it looks like in the bus stop. Come on, first and second are so close. Surely into turn one they've got to dance. Surely. Fantastic minimum speed there. Still a lot faster than P1. Look at the delta to P1, that red one. See, it's coming down. I hope you see some position. Yes, positions have flipped. Positions have flipped. It's kicked off finally. Is it too late for us? Oh no, Fergus and Womble are here. Womble's pushing us. Yes, we want to. We want to go. Come on, Fergus, join the party. Contact behind. Womble's so sensible, it really is. Possibly the most sensible driver on Gran Turismo. 8.4. Come on, we need some we need some drama. We need some drama. Eaton's getting away with it. Look how close they are, look how close the top four are. I love these sort of races in karting, by the way. Like, when you do these races for wheel, you, d you don't have the deltas, you don't have the, the numbers, but you just see it and you're like, it just keep, it keeps you pushing, like, physically. 8.1 seconds. There, there's less than seven tenths between all four of them. That's how close it is. Look at that, they're going around the bank now. It's the last lap. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do here? Top four is within three tenths, chat. Top four within two tenths. Womble's going to go for it though, Womble's going around the outside, I'm going to cover the inside from Odd Fergie. Oh, Fergie's found a little gap. Oh, Fergie's going to push, Womble being betrayed. How on earth I haven't died there, have I died and gone to heaven? Have I died? No! Referee! Race on. Race on. Hang on, I'm, a I'm actually dead. Can we beat Fergs? Is it possible to beat Fergs with the half second penalty? Portuguese driver's back in the lead. Tell you what, this has been top quality racing, I think. Oh, 
that might be another pen that's going to be marginal. That's going to be really marginal. Depends where exactly the line is. No, no penalty for us. Oh, Fergs has got a penalty. So it's direct scrap between ourselves and Fergs. This would be a very hard for P6 if we get it done. What's Fergs going to do? No penalties, hopefully. No penalties. I think I think we're nailed in now for a P6. Oh, man. And the, that looked like a hell of a battle at the front there. Good battle there. Good battle for P5 as well. Let's concentrate here. Fergs is still round. I don't like this. Fergs. Fergs. Man, that was a... Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty race. <laughs> that was such a sweaty race. I think the the key part in that uh, race was when the gap went from like two seconds to like eight seconds. I don't know how it happened, but but it happened. So, oh my word, that was intense. It's good quality racing today. Watching Titan uses more co in the first part. I know that's always been my weakness there today. Look at Time Killer getting up to ninth as well. Time Killer was only three seconds behind us in the end. At least I'd last. The top four were very well behaved. Like they, if they just lost control, we would have been there. But yeah, good, really good pace. I think there might be a fast race, a 1921. I don't know if it's fast, but if, I think that's quite solid. They weren't scrapping a lot. So, thanks Triple D, thanks James. And also, a shout out to Womble getting P5 in the Ferrari. Which is pretty mad. Thanks Heat and good racing, mate. Look like a good back to the front. And looking at the gaps, I mean, top 10 within 15 seconds, you know. Pretty good. Pretty good racing by everyone. Pretty good racing. That was a good race. Well done to everyone. Right, we can try and do some quali. Oh, sorry, Highland. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that. I was like, hang on, he's a lot closer than I thought. I was like, nailed on for P6. Then he almost beat us. Probably not a lot into it. See you, James. Thanks for joining. Triple D, probably been said a million times, but Kirith looks like Lucas Paqueta. Plays like him too. So I've been told. Uncanny. Uncanny. Right, let's go. Yeah, good race, Womble. Really good race. Really good Very. It's, it's funny how, like, every race is different. You know what I mean? It's, it's a bit like football matches, like... Kind of. Each football match is different. I feel like these races are, are really different. Right, we need to... I think we might just get three laps in here. Yeah, we're going to get just... If we don't mess it up, we'll get three. I don't know why I'm so far behind the ghost this time. Maybe I chose a faster ghost. obvious oh thanks Ben appreciate that man we are a very friendly community 100% right we Comes out first, going to third. Ooh. And the other differences with the uh, old gearing 30.9, I don't think it's super quick. I think I was doing 30.8, wasn't I?
could have taken a bit more on the way in. I, I would hope this will be there or thereabouts at the very least. Okay. Ah, it's going to be slower. Jesus. sure about that for me. Quite a bit more time here. Trying it, trying third. Didn't seem that bad. Delta went a bit weird. Get one more after this as well. I'm surprised I can't get more pace out of the car to be honest. Because I feel like in the I feel like in the race we have good pace, but in quality we're quite a way off. We're half a second off in quality. I should get this. I might not register there actually. This is better. I think this is better. Thirty point eight sector one. So got a nail the chicane. Might not risk difference anyway, but I would love just to set a better lap. I don't know actually, this might be better. We, I think we just hit the limit from the way in. Which means the exit was probably a bit nicer. We're less than two seconds behind the gate. Damn it. <laughs> Pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Oh man, back down in P10. Ugh. Pace here is very good, I have to say, but... Oh, Jonathan's back in. I mean, how can we get four tenths? That's a lot. That is a lot of time. That is a lot of time chat, isn't it? Team Morocco.
You need to have a think about where I can do that. Yeah, first sector felt pretty good. I mean, 30.8, I think is good. I feel like... I feel like a lot of it is in the chicane. MTG just fascinated watching Quicker Race. They go for similar lines with breaking points, but Dana for getting rid of the ball seconds. It's just, it's really small margins. It gets, it's like a, it gets smaller margins as you go up. And I'm, I'm half a second off for sure. And I, I don't think it's sector one. I don't think it's sector two. So I think it's chicane for me. Because I haven't had that feeling yet of like, I've nailed the chicane. It's going to be difficult to do much from P10, but we'll do our best. At least 54... So at least got 54.7. Is that similar to mine? I don't know what mine is. I think Chicane. Right, here we go. Tommy's here. Ah, oh, Wumble's back. Let's see if we can make some headway here. It's going to be difficult there, isn't it? Side by side action. Stay safe, Jonathan. Could try and dive up the inside, Jonathan, but don't make the ball. Friendly push. This will be good going into Chicane with all these drivers. We'll be able to kind of compare lines. Catching Jonathan a little bit here. Great livery, obviously. I think that livery's on my channel homepage. Jonathan Cross. Look at the leaders bumping each other, by the way. Anyone notice that? They want to get away. They want to get away like Lenny Kravitz. Come on, Jonathan, let's roll. Let's get a good look at that livery. Look at that. Tease. Chance it around the outside. The racing here is just so it's just such a good combination, chat. It's such a I could do this all day, all night. It's just it's like when I, it's like my local car track. I really like it because the racing is always good. It's the same thing about this combination. It's just place proximity, parity. And like just really good quality racing, I have to say. So Bob's got a penalty, that's gonna be interesting. See where Bob falls out of the pack. Miss my shift there. Lead are still working together. They do not fancy being a part of this. It looks like third and fourth working together. And fifth and sixth. <laughs> so people have paired up. It's like the school disco. It's a pretty tidy exit from us. Oh my word. Oh my word. Not everyone's going to survive that one. Yep, we lost one already. Going high side. I'm 
going to latch on the back of Heaton if we can. It's NASCAR now. I wanted to go scenic camera there. It doesn't exist when you're racing for good reason. Someone on our inside here. Someone on our inside. Look at the radar. We're going to get space. It's Jonathan. Yeah, I think so. Good racing there. That was like we were using the force. We were literally so side. We still are. I'm chatting away, but we're still literally side by side. Tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually high quality racing so far. I prefer Group 4 here, honestly. This is a really good combination. The group, This Group 4 car is a really good technical car around here. It's like, you have to be very good at driving it. Like, Turn 1 is tricky in this car, but it's very rewarding when you get it right. I prefer this over the Group 3 here. Fun and games there. Bob's going high side. Flying back in, giving himself lots of space this time. <laughs> His old Bob. It's encouraging pushing here. I'm pushing the pool. Hey, oh, big old train. Go on, Jonathan, no pressure, mate. Carting man. Not sure I want to be this far wide. I spotted a gap and I'm going to go for it. But Jonathan's um, been hard done by there. Be some fireworks here. If he decides to go for it. Might try and follow him through if he does. the old move around the outside. No, didn't quite make it work. That is a podium up there. Let's see, but they are working together. Lots of Portuguese drivers. Portugal doing very well here. The Brits are coming. Now, Portugal and Britain have the oldest international treaty in the world, I found out. Useless fact. Well, that's not useless, is it? That's actually quite. That's not. Is that useless fact? I'm not saying. Treaty's about to be broken, though, yo. Treaties are there to be broken. <laughs> right, what are we going to do? You don't get those kind of facts on any other sim racing channel, right? Tell you what, I've got a massive overspeed here. It's a three-wide situation. We know what happened last time. That was slightly out of control. I was slightly out of control. Oh no, we got to catch them up. Ah, oh, I get too excited. I I get too excited. Right, they're in, they're only over there. <laughs> they're literally just there. Let's catch them up. I get too excited when it's like the opportunity to go three wide. Right, there they are. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's 
should be able to catch him in no time. 5.5 seconds. Swapping positions. Portugal also introduced T to the English. See that that I did not know. That I didn't I'm surprised that the English didn't introduce I believe you. Come on, we've got to catch him, let's go. What's the point in racing if you're not gonna go for the big moves? He said. Having gone for a big move, it didn't, didn't quite work out. Didn't quite work out, did it? But I reckon there's going to be shenanigans in turn one here, I really do. Fergs is in there. And if I, if I know Fergs, he's going to be mixing it up. Yep, someone's going up the inside. Wouldn't mind seeing a cheeky yellow flag. Getting away. Come on, just need to catch him. Back down again, need them to fight a little bit more. Oh, someone's gone wide. seconds now. This is the third gear, the one there, maybe. Maybe in time trial. Half a second up on that lap with no slip. Bad. Okay, I need them to be a little bit more irresponsible. Dave in there. No penalty. Oh, I, need the, I need like a five way situation. That's what I need now. Tell you what, we might have it. We might have it. It's like three. He's going for it. I think that's Johnny. I think Johnny went for it. About two seconds. It's just one of these combinations where the pace is just the pace. The pace is just very good, like very evenly matched in the split. That's just a reality bit. Welcome, guy that posts random gaming videos. So what do you do on YouTube? Oh no, that's not the one. That ain't the one. I think... Um, I think I've got to do second gear out there. <sighs> Waiting for this big crash to happen. Come on. Have a big one. Have a big. That's going to be a penalty. Ugh. How's there were two of them fighting? Like, how's that guy got so far ahead? trying to think back to my move, my attempt. You just watched my F1 manager Williams tits video, very nice. 
I need to get back on that game. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll see what's what with it. I do miss playing it. Womble's catching us, no. What's happened to Womble? It's so frustrating just seeing them go around the hairpin. <laughs> means we have to go again though. Yeah, I think the game's on sale at the moment. I think it's like half price. Still five seconds. Cannot get any closer. Just can't. No matter what I do. It's £18. I mean, I think for £18 it's quite good value, but I think it's not... It's a weird game because it's officially licensed. It looks amazing, which you would never think for a simulator game. So. Oh, get a flag. Didn't fancy it. Fergus, but just the I think if they just added the ability to change teams then it would mean that you could play for seasons and seasons and seasons but it's kind of like we you know people play people play football manager for seasons you can't really do that with F1 manager uh, but it's a great game a very tidy game I'm sure next year is going to be much better so I'm excited Sorry, Wumble, mate. Yeah, we've got ourselves a battle at least. I think what this race really, really shows is like this split is very competitive at the top end. Like it's really competitive. Everyone's very evenly matched. But it's like from a mental, from like a morale perspective, like a mental perspective. As soon as I had the instant I dropped off that pack, I haven't been able to maintain the same pace as when I'm around that pack. And I think that shows like the mental aspect. If that makes sense. It's like when you're racing at the front, you raise your you mentally raise your game. And when the margins are so tight, that can make a massive difference. Yeah, create a team would be... I'm not... The, the reason why the F1 creator on that is because in the F1... All the F1 YouTubers, that's what they do. They do F1 My Team. That's YouTube for them. It's like F1 My Team episode 158 and stuff like that. So I can see why they want it in. I'm personally not too fast. I would just like to be able to swap teams. Right, last that battle with one ball. We've both been in the walls, I suspect. <laughs> Why are you pushing me, Womble? Let's fight. Let's dice. Let's give the viewers what they want. I'm going to leave the door open. Welcome steady. That move really didn't <laughs> didn't pay off, did it? We keep going. A bit more acclimatized to the track. Just let our subconscious do more the driving. That was my subconscious doing that. Terrible. That might be one more gone. 
Have you played BeamNG? I have played it before and I do want to do it again because now with the new update and also I saw Snaptrain was doing it with um, AI traffic and I've always wanted to do like AI traffic games on the channel. I think that'd be really cool. I think that'd be great to stream as well. So yeah, I'm just going to check all that out. And I have some pretty cool partnerships coming up actually. I have a really, one of them is like very exciting and also everyone, all of my subscribers have the opportunity to win something very cool, like really cool. So I'm just waiting for that stuff to arrive and then I'm going to be absolutely on that. That's going to be, yeah, an exciting uh, pipeline of content. Steady, how hard is it to play iRacing with a controller? Um, I've never done it. People have tried it and apparently it's not great. So, I would say it's better to do iRacing with a non full speed back wheel than it is uh, with a controller. That was a tough race, I've got to be honest. That was a tough one. Tough old race. Welcome, Small. What made you play racing games? I mean, so when I looked at my state of play on PlayStation for last year, the only game I played was Gran Turismo 7 and Gran Turismo Sport. Like, Gran Turismo is my favourite game. So it's just, I'm very lucky that I stream and make videos about my favourite game. It's not like I'm, oh, I think it would be cool to be a sim racing content creator, so I've, what's the best game to stream? Maybe it's Gran Turismo. Is that, no, Gran Turismo is just my favourite game. <laughs> It's like tonight, I'm just, I'm literally playing my favourite game and there's a camera here. That's it, there's no, there's no more to it. Which I quite like. Should we do one more? <laughs> I feel like I left quite a bit on the table there. Left quite a bit on the table. What's the first F1 race you watched? There's no way I can remember that. No way. I remember Jack Villeneuve winning. Championship at was that at Jerez? Welcome, scary guy. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. With the big hand, where you get that big hand from? Let's check out some of the liveries as we as we just wait till the next race. Probably the next race will be the last race. Then I'll make some videos. Let's see what's been cooking. So if you want to, if you're watching the stream, by the way, welcome. If you want to hang out, where everyone hangs out. It is in the uh, in the Discord. There's a link in the description below, and it's where all these amazing liveries are made. I like this one, but I love this one. This one is so good. Kind of want to drive the Super just for that. Oh, Johnny C! Look at this. Is that a Group Three Mustang? Yeah, nice. Group Three Mustang. Oh, nice. Is this a Group 3 as well? I think that's a Group 3 one, isn't it? Really, really... This one's been at all time. Look at this. It's got 109 likes, this one. Like, that is popular in the game. This one I want to drive as well. This one looks very cool. From Andy's in the chat earlier. Ooh, look at the rims on this. It's such like big wheels. What do you, why do you like GT so much? It's just fun. I mean, I have iRacing, I have ACC, I have AC, but GT is just I like racing. Like, I have all these trophies here from karting. I don't race in, like, the fastest shifter karts like, that goes, like, naught to, like, 100. I, I just like close racing. That's it. And for me, GT is, like, it's, that's why I really like this combo. It's just really, really, really close racing, and that's what I like. I like battling people. I like the mental side of where am I going to position my car? How much space am I going to give them? How am I going to work with them? Or am I going to, you know? So that's why I like GT. Um, I wouldn't say, and I, I'm not. Thing is, this is the thing, right? It's, it's a bit of a loaded question, isn't it? Why why do you like GT so much? Aren't oh, they better simulators? They're definitely better simulators. If you think about what a simulator actually is, a simulator is a 
way of practicing and becoming better at driving a real car. If you think of like the F1 simulators or the F1 teams have, they have simulators that their drivers practice in to get better at driving on the real road. I don't, I have no interest in driving a GT3 car in real life, but I genuinely don't. It's not on my bucket list. I just like close racing, whether that's me karting in real life, whether that's me racing on iRacing or GT. And I'm not interested in like simulating to the, like this is so accurate to be a GT3 car. That, that, that kind of stuff doesn't really excite me, I've got to be honest. I just like racing other people. Rocket Sparks. Oh, it's a YouTube emoji. Very nice. Oh, Smoltz got it as well. What's the best sim racing game? I'd say iRacing for me. It's the best. I like this one. I've already, I've already smashed a like on that one. Ooh, we've got a Sauber. I've already liked it. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. But we've got the C8 now. There's no C8 Group 3 though, is there? That's weird. Why haven't they done a C8 Group 3? Ooh, BAC ones. Look at these. They've got three pages of this. Like, just so many, so many just damn good liveries. This one was nice. This is the one Jonathan's racing. Classics. So, oh, this one I made. I like my own livery. I'm going to repost my own livery. There you go. Here's scary guys. Scary guy in the chat. Love it. It's got May the Downforce Be With You sticker on it. I like that sticker. Oh, this GoPro one is nice. Right, I'm getting... Uh, I should have practiced, should I? <laughs> No worries, Mr. Garcia. That's just my opinion anyway. Everyone's got a different opinion. Oh, we'll go again. We'll do one last race because I think we left a bit on the table that last race. It's been a really fun stream though. It's been a really fun stream. We've got 129 likes. We've peaked at 140 people watching, which is an awful lot. An awful lot of people. I mean, when I did my iRacing charity stream, Jimmy Bourbon charity stream, I think we peaked at like 25, maybe over 20, 24 hours. So to have 140 is crazy. I'm actually mad. That'd be a lot of people. Imagine 140 people in your room standing over you. Star Wars and Iron Maiden combined, very nice run it to the hills. Welcome Daniel Gaming. Good to see you. Not going to improve that quality realistically, am I? So you're going to make some more videos tonight. Made some videos last night. Obviously the Kimmy one. How's the Kimmy video doing? How's the Kimmy video doing? Let's have a look. Average view duration is very... Average view duration on the Kimmy video four minutes which for a five minute video is very good happy with that oh, that's a shame i had an eye racing video blow up a little bit that's died it's gone back to being dead uh, not bad two and a half thousand views on the on the kimmy video in uh 10 hours not bad First comment, please retitle your post. You did not find any solution to the problem. You just showed a bunch of crap things you did. Nice. Oh, there's copycat behavior. Ran across that last night. Uh, one comment just says, gross Xbox shirt. What? <laughs> <laughs> the best comments are in the held for review, like YouTube partitions them. The ones to say there's loads in here, but they all, everyone's swearing in them, so YouTube will automatically just um, hide. This guy reminds you of Max Verstappen. He's got his own rules. It boils my blood that he does that and is not getting punished, and I sneeze and get a five seconds penalty. Very controversial. And there's another Dirty Drive video coming out tomorrow. Mixed responses, indeed. 
Cynics will say that's the best for engagement. And your cynics will say that. But the, the, the most popular um, angry comment on those videos is like, why are you making Kimmy famous? And so just to elaborate first, like, if you just didn't make if you didn't make videos about Kimmy, Kimmy would stop ramming people. And I just completely disagree with that. <laughs> Kimmy is going to ram people until he gets banned. The only way to fix this is to get Kimmy banned. Like that is it. There's no. He's not going to stop ramming people if one YouTuber stops making videos about him. And I remember when I I tracked down Momo. I don't know if anyone remembers Momo's from GT Sport. Momo's had much worse reputation than Kimmy. I remember tracking down Momo's for months and months and months and getting an interview with Momo's and getting my a YouTuber friend, Belgian friend, to translate. And we got under the skin of Momo's and we are, it's a really interesting video, I, I premiered it. And I kind of want to do the same with Kimmy, I want to do an interview with Kimmy, that's that's the end goal, so. Troy is no and I can name two dirty drivers. Maybe one of them's going to be in, in this lobby. Three Portuguese drives ahead of us. Right, let's go. Last race of the night, I think. If you've got likes to give, feel free to deploy. Let's go. Let's do this. No one will find us. It's like all GERs ahead, I think. Xbox shirt. Gross. <laughs> Love it. Hopefully that's not a penalty. I cut that quite badly. Unintentionally. I think I'm just a bit too relaxed today, to be honest. I'm having lots of fun, but... Not, like, focused. Welcome, Song Wang. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa to you, too. Hello to Japan. Can you speak with, uh... Polyphony? Song Wang, do you speak Japanese? Can you translate a message for us? Chat, can we ask Song Wang to translate a message for us in Japanese? I think Song Song Wang, let us know. Chat, can we work out a message, like almost like a pager thing? Like just like two sent three sentences, and we get Song Wang to tra very helpfully translate it, and I will tweet it. At the uh, at Kaz and Co. About Kimmy. Like, hey, do you know that this guy is like causing chaos in your game? I think that's a great idea. Song Wang's Asian American, great. Song Wang, are you are you aware of Kimmy Velocini? This message is being retracted all over the shop. It's kicking off. We want to send a message to Polyphony that says, hey, there's a dirty driver in your game. Are you are you aware? That's it. Just like, do you know about this? Oh, song that's not Japanese. I put my foot in it there. I put my foot in that one big time. I do apologize. You did say Konnichiwa though. Didn't want to turn in there. Didn't fancy it. Oh, it's on Beijing. Don't worry about it then. Hope all is well in Beijing. Here things are a bit interesting at the moment. Good to have someone from China watching though. In the form of a haiku, let's not make it... Yeah, well, that would be quite Japanese actually, to be fair, wouldn't it? Look at that from Bob. Oh, see, that's what I did to someone before. Got that snap. Snapped him off the track like Thanos. Go on, Bob. Oh, God. Bob's going to be furious at me because I've given him a penalty. And I think I've also got a penalty as well. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I got away with it. <laughs> I saw the penalties light up. <laughs> Maybe they ran out. I think they ran out of half second penalties. That must be it. I can't give everyone one. Right, let's crash with this chicane. Crash through it. Love it. P1 
but that's leader up there. D easy. Jesus. Should get a couple of positions here. Well, I'll tell you what, we get one. And the double. 140. Let's kick it off somewhere. Kicked off. Berzosa. Is that the Spanish Burz? Feeling good if we can catch up. We need to catch up, it's critical. Because the leader's under pressure. If he goes for a move here, that'd be great news for us. Go on, I really want to be in a slip. Purple, we're not in the slip though, that's crazy. Heartbreaking to small, yeah, I know. We're, we're very, 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 very nicely poised though here. We can get a good chicane. I think it's people really fight into the chicane. Bad boy, the counter there. Lost a bit of time there. Still purple, but not getting any slip benefit here. Not giving too much to uh, taxi behind there. Leader's taking a penalty, by the way. Leader has taken a penalty. That's going to mix things right up. Oh yeah, someone lost the ball even. Come on. Come on, now this might coalesce around PT. Is if they don't fight, they just get away because they're in a train. Unless they compromise those lines. We'd be good if everyone's just sat on the grid. You shouldn't need to do that. You should just, you just shouldn't be in the races. Like it shouldn't be up to us. That's game theory. It doesn't it doesn't work. That's my view anyway. He's definitely someone very fast on odds camp, by the way. Like, probably, probably one of like the kids, I reckon. But, but someone thinks they know who it is. But because I was watching him, he had a race with Killian. Like Killian won the nation's exhibition cup, didn't he? So he's like the base. He, he was the fastest driver in the world this year, Killian, at, at a race, like undisputed. And uh, Kimi was like battling him, the lead. Let's have a good dust up, please. Yeah, it looks like it's happening finally. Yeah, it's happened for sure. 2.9. Oh my word! Jesus! Is heating going to work with us here? I 
good things come to those who wait. 2.6 with the Bulgarian. What do we think, chat? We started, like, way down this grid. There's Heaton. He might have had damage earlier, but it's probably fixed now. the Bulgarian, nice. Bob's here as well. Right, so what's Heaton going to do? It's three seconds to the lead. I mean, that's, that's a P3. That's quite hard to catch. But obviously, if they fight, Heaton decides to... I think he decides to bump us. I was trying to be quite predictable. And I think that's a smart decision because they've really caught the lead there. Maybe they've had a penalty, actually. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Right, great. Oh my word, there's a car going the wrong way. Eaton's going to go for it. I'm just going to slot in here. Biding our time. I think Bob's winds as well. It's hotting up this one. Sure. Now, it's the question is, are the three of us going to work together to catch the leader, or are we just going to sit? I don't know. Three seconds to the leader. We just saw a three-second gap crumble. It requires some incredible coordination here and trust. Three seconds. 2.9 seconds. Eat might have come to that. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. So Heaton will drop behind us. The question is can we bridge it to PT? To be honest, all three of us were quite sloppy through there. One point one to P two. You need a good corner. Resting line. The pressure's on now. This is where we see how good we really are in this split. Fighting behind. Just mano e mano now. Don't think he's got slip, so. See how he really traps. Yeah. Seem to work, to be honest. Welcome, Ray. Good to see you. Blacker says, yes, we can. It is the believe stage of the race. 1.5. He's got a little bit on us. A little bit on us so far. Coming into chicane, though. That seemed pretty nice. There's going to be no penalty. I think we both did that quite nicely, to be honest. The gap to the leader is actually coming down. About 1.7 or something, isn't it? We're going to have company, though. We're going to have company. I think dreams of PT might be about to be shattered here. He's really catching the leader, though.
the leader is just crumbled. Lads, let's, let's be sensible about this. Let's be real sensible about this because PT's in the slip now. seconds. Oh, if we if two laps to go. The thing is, why the hell would anyone work with me in this situation? The odds of catching them are so slim and then you just end up in a massive battle. They may as well battle for P3. But I reckon, what's he doing here? They're going to fight into turn one. I think we should give it one more shot. Hopefully there's no penalty for me. Come on, surely he's going to get a great run and he's going to go for it. But I'm going to get caught at the same time. What do we want to do? There's going to be two laps to go. There's five tenths between P1 and P2 here. What's Heaton going to do? I'm going to stay defensive. Is he going to bump us? Yes, he does. He fancies a bit of this. Okay. Let's go. Let's do it. They're going side by side. Oh, they are going side by side. It's happening. It's happening. Need a bit of a boost there. Still two seconds is a gap. The pace here is pretty frightening to be honest. People are battling and still looking at good lap times. Come on, he's got to send it. He's got to send it, man. You, you've got to go for it. Slightly low in the rev band there. Still two seconds. Come on, my guy. Come on, there's only four tenths in it. Surely he is going to go for it. But again, it's not, it's not a good place to go side by side. He is going to bump us again. Come on, my guy, do it. close to being a pen. No penalty. Come on, he's got, he's got to. You've got to send it. You've got to send it, my guy. It's now or never. On your Portuguese bro. Come on. Come on, I want shenanigans. What's Heaton going to do? He's going to know he's going to pull out. It's going to be two by two. guy in P2, he does, I don't think he has a cojone, so we're going to have to battle now for P3. We needed a bit more drama. He might get in line, actually. Pretty smart. Oh, this is tense. Last lap pass in the tri-oval. Last lap's been quite consistent with that. Bobs around as well. Limp there slightly. So it all comes down to bus stop now. Need to have a really, really, really good bus stop. Really good bus stop. By the way, if you are enjoying this race, please make sure you're subscribed. It doesn't massively help the channel. It's good to know people want to see that G7 stuff as well. Try and do my best here. Try and do my best. This is a big moment. Oh, 
I don't know. Four tenths. Come on. Come on. Come on, I need that delta to come down. It's coming down now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes, come on, we're getting closer. Come on. Come on, Nissan. Come on, it's not going to be enough, is it? Come on. No. No, off the inside. <laughs> oh, great racing. Great rate. The quality of racing is so good. It's just so good. This must be the best, like, racing on YouTube right now, surely. Like, it's just so good. 15 seconds up to P11 as well. Man. Man, man, man. Something kicked off there as well. I don't know who it was. Something really, really, really kicked off. I'm happy with our pace. I'm happy with our pace. First. We were making a lot of positions from where we qualified. Thanks, Ethan. Yeah, good racing, man. Good racing. I was hoping they were going to lose their call, but they didn't. Welcome, Josh. Good to see you. Very long time, Josh. Hope you're doing well. Very long time. Thanks, Ray. It's been a good uh, good stream tonight, actually. We're going to stream again tomorrow. Maybe we'll do some B. I don't know if B sounds like pure carnage, though. Actually, is it World Series tomorrow? Maybe it's World Series tomorrow. Let's have a look. Thanks, Ray. Glad you enjoyed it. Oh, just been a been just been a chilling. Just just been here, absolutely loving the racing. That's what we like to hear. Let me check whether it is indeed um, World Series tomorrow. That's gonna be last race for today. I'm gonna make some videos. Get the channel moving again after the Christmas bake. Bake. How many positions do we gain? Gained four positions. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Thanks, Andy. Glad you enjoyed it. Some great liveries there as well, we saw as well. Thanks, Vladka. That was a great race. That honestly... This is the thing, right? A lot of people in my comments tell me that, oh, GT is just... I, I don't play it anymore because the racing is so bad, the quality of racing is terrible, everyone's punting anyone, but at the very top, the very top, this is the highest split, it is really good. So... I don't know what to say, but it's like, if you can get here, the racing is really good. Um, but it seems to be such a weird game of, like, two halves, where, like, in the lower splits, the racing is just carnage. But some of that is, like, in the lower splits, people are more likely to make mistakes and miss breaking points and maybe not have the composure in tight spaces. That's part and parcel of it. But you wouldn't let beginners drive GT3 cars or GT4 cars in real life. So, I, I don't know. Oh no, I've got a video coming out tomorrow. Right? Thanks, Bjorn. You Super GT Rory, best on YouTube. Thanks so much, Raider. Funky, if you like the vibe in here, join Discord. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure you join the Discord if you like the stream. It's basically like the stream, but just like all the time. Okay, tomorrow is not the 31st. Tomorrow is the 30th. So, Nations Cup. Where's that? Nations Cup. Oh, Civic at Suzuka. Oh, my word. GT1 League, yeah. 8 a.m. You mad. Oh, this just goes all the way from 8 a.m. Are they insane? <laughs> right, we'll do that one at Suzuka. That's going to be a weird one. What's it? Sports. Oh, my word. How many laps is it? I'm being really stupid. Right, eight, eight laps. Just be about, what, two minute 30 lap or something? Weird one. We'll do that there. We'll do it. 1921. 1928 is pretty quick, though. But yeah, thanks everyone so much for joining today. Really, really, really appreciate it. I'm going to play us out. Play us out with some music. Do go check out the other videos on the channel. It does really help. If you ever see a video come out, if you just drop it a like, it helps so much and I massively appreciate it. Let me know as well that you've been there. You drop that like so I can say thank you. It does make a world of difference. I'm going to play us out with some old school, old school tunes that we haven't done for a long time. I'm going to go to our, I think this members page. Thanks, Ray. Member for 16 months. That is insane support. Thank you so much, Ray. I really appreciate it. You I hope you had a good holiday as well. We're going to be back tomorrow, though. Pro well, maybe around the same time. About seven UK time gives me enough time to do stuff in the day. I'm going to do my Moser review as well. 
and lots more videos coming so yeah keep submitting your overtakes of the week and your fails of the week in the discord by the way i'm gonna make the next video one of those but otherwise it's been an amazing stream great racing gonna make some videos now and i'll see you all see you tomorrow Kirath Khan